Hey, Cross Timbers teachers. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do a, or how to set up Flipgrid. So when you go to flipgrid.com, you're going to click on educator sign up. Now I'm already signed up, so it's going to be a little bit different, but um, it's, there's like one extra step where you're just going to have to fill in your information. But you are going to want to sign up with Microsoft since that's where we get our emails. And sign in. And I'm sorry guys, my internet is starting to become a little bit slow, so it's just taking a couple of seconds longer than usual. Okay, so this is what you'll see. Um, you will get like a welcome grid and it'll tell you like you can share it, but if you want to go ahead and add a new grid, you would click here. And you're going to name it based on your subject area. You can do it um, per section, like your pre-AP group and your gen ed, but to me during this time, I have found it easier just to make one big one, especially because then the kids can see um, each other on your team. So we'll just go ahead and do um, science test. And then you're going to click school email. And then you're going to click next. Now this is the really, really important part. Um, our students are going to be using their Google accounts to access this. Their Google accounts do not end with .org. So you are going to need to put also at misd.net. And if you want to even make it easier um, so they have no problems, you can also do at gmail.com. But it's not necessary. Um, you can just have these two and it'll be fine. They just have to be signed into their Google accounts with MISD. So then you'll click Next. And then your grid is ready to be uh, shared. So you're going to go to your grid. And this is where you can um, pick your topics uh, or post your topics. So this one is one that they already make for you. Um, it's automatic. You can edit it if you want by just clicking the pencil here. It's just like a welcome to Flipgrid kind of a deal. So you can change it if you want. Um, if you don't want to and you want to leave it and say like, hey, I want my kids to do this, then go for it. But if you want to change it, you can. And all you would do is hit update topic at the end. Okay. So then if you wanted to post, if you want to go back to your grid, you just click here. Now if you wanted to post a, another topic, so for example, I want my students to find an example of refraction. So I would click add new, ta uh, new topic, and then I would say find an example of refraction. Show us a video. And then you'll scroll down. I can include a picture, a GIF, I can include an emoji, anything like this. I could record a video of myself showing my refraction if I wanted, um, but you don't have to. And then you would hit um, create topic. And then your topic is ready. Um, if you wanted to edit your topic, you would just pick this pencil. And you will find like more options if you wanted to moderate the uh, video. So watch them before they're posted. You can do that. If you wanted to, you know, change anything, you could. I am currently leaving it so they just post automatically just so kids can see each other. And then you have it. And then the kids will, uh, you would want to share something called a flip code with the kids. You would tell them, hey, go to uh, flipgrid.com and enter in our flip code for whatever topic you want it to be, which is always going to be right here. And um, 
record a video. Um, if you wanted to start the discussion, you can record a um, video. What's really cool too is that once kids start posting videos, you can reply to them. And um, so that's been something I've been doing, which has been really nice. And then if you have uh, any co-teachers, you can add a co-pilot to your grid so they have access to it as well. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to message me, email me. I'm also willing to do FaceTime. So uh, just let me know what else I can help you with. Thank you.